everybody welcome back to the cabin so we're finally heading out trip's been postponed twice rescheduled for today which is the 15th of may weather is kind of variable starting off nice but we're about to get uh, thunderstorms maybe this afternoon some showers for sure but glad to be finally out on the water unfortunately just found out that the park actually made me reschedule the trip and then didn't call back to say they changed their mind and they opened the park on the 10th or the 11th so we could have actually gone out on our original date but here we are we'll see hopefully the fish where we're fishing aren't um, already pressured too much that might impact our success a little bit but we're gonna do our do our best and then we hit a couple of lakes that are good fishing too so hopefully we get into some lake trout and brook trout on those lakes so i'm out here with jim and ted baird i've seen them on some of my videos lately and uh yeah six seven days we'll see i've got my hand injury from hitting myself with an axe and then i think i might be getting a little bit of flu from a couple of family members this week so we'll see how my strength holds up but i think uh i think i'll push through and enjoy this time away from the cabin and away from working and just uh, focusing on just the day-to-day -day activities which is one of the great things about camping and fishing trips and and uh, canoe trips is just to get out and just focus solely strictly on what's happening here in the present moment so no uh, cell phone service out here no distractions literally get up you make breakfast you get out on the water you catch some fish do some paddling and uh, do it again at lunchtime dinner time go to bed just uh, focus just stay in the moment so it's a real stress reliever so i'm looking forward to that um the quietness of the backcountry and the and the and a few distractions that come along with that so hope you enjoy this video and uh stick around i think uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting week as soon as we got here to the parking lot to launch the canoes there's a bull moose down there waiting for us so uh, that's a sign of the things to come it's going to be a great week I'll see you soon. I'll see you down the lake a little bit. So the rain started already it's only i don't know nine o'clock probably in the morning first little lake on the trip we have to cross but, uh, this is exactly what the forecast said it was a uh, chance of showers and steady showers and then the chance of a thunderstorm so we're going to be dealing with a little bit of rain today and then minus two celsius tonight so below freezing with 20 what's that 28 28 29 something like that fahrenheit so it's cold enough when it's damp for it to be a little bit uncomfortable especially since i didn't really pack a lot of heavy warmer gear because the rest of the week's warm so i have enough for that temperature for tonight but anyway be the most uncomfortable night of the five or six for sure but just very happy to be out on the water already seen a couple of bull moose and a, and a pair of loons very nice way to start the trip. <laughs> so nice being out here. I miss this. I only went out on one canoe trip last year and one canoe trip the previous year. Called them both fishing trips, but to be honest, the, of course the canoe is as enjoyable as the fishing. Yeah, just so, so happy to be out here again. So I just met there at the uh, beaver dam with this little golden retriever and he's watched my videos in the past of me canoeing this route so maybe really feel guilty about not bringing Cali with me but just being a fishing trip just felt like it was going to be too counterproductive she would on a river like this she wants to be in the water running along the shore or swimming through the water and it would just ruin the fishing and this is predominantly a fishing trip. So I'll make it up to her when I get back and take her out on a couple of day trips around the, closer to the cabin where we can just enjoy it without any pressure. Well, a couple
couple overnights too. She will go camping with me as well, obviously. But um, just to make it up to her immediately, get right back out again for a day or two. I don't think so. I think there's one right over there. So it's starting to warm up, so I'm stripping down a little bit, which is a very odd look because I have these dry pants on. And uh, <laughs> then nothing up top, or the, nothing waterproof up top. But this get a little, lot of dripping, and we are still, they're still calling for thunderstorms. Not sure if we're going to get them. It might be it. If it is, then I'll take off the uh, dry pants as well. We have three portages. Three, yeah, three portages before we get to our campsite for the night. So we'll do a little bit more. Well, we'll do start fishing in the next watershed. Not really worth it. So we're gonna grab something to eat here, and then, then uh, we'll do these portages, and probably, hopefully, get to camp early enough that we get to relax a little bit. Cause first paddle of the season, you know, my shoulders just from the movement, I'm already feeling a little bit. That'll clear up probably by the end of the day tomorrow. I'll start to be limber enough but in the meantime we'll take a few breaks and take it easy so we're gonna grab some lunch now he's very photogenic except for that picture in front of the longhouse he looked like some mangy old stray or something <laughs> yeah, isn't he? Yeah. I'll have to uh, remember to keep my lunch up Yeah. Fish the spot and So that's the first fish of the trip. It's tiny, six, seven inches, eight inches, but we're on the board at least. one like tamarack or whatever no like or juniper bushes yeah, yeah the low yeah. one right. right and those roots like are just the whole ground under wow under well, just because the property just went up yeah that's crazy mm -hmm. where'd you say it was again on the south end of white stone lake oh, the sweet. south of the highway there. Right. Right. The south, uh, we that, also uh, had like supposed to be terrible. a more more oh just day. down the rosemary then you yeah. weren't going to go any longer yeah you want to here take oh, this that's one. okay the shot of this trout, it's like one of these other things that's happened. That's confidence right there. Yeah, yeah. He's More not that hungry. Yeah. yeah, you can't be that hungry. That's a beauty trout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did call that. That's nice, Ted. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> One of them. Yeah. Right. I love this stuff.
Yeah. Nothing better. Yeah. I'm pretty hungry too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I ate all that rice already, so it wasn't that bad. Well, good reason to stay up later than we wanted to, eh? Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. Well worth it. Beautiful fish, eh? Yeah. Oh. Sean's shoes are literally... Anybody home? Frozen. Right here. That's ridiculous. Come on, buddy. In the boat. Come on, in the boat. Good boy. <laughs> Can I fall in, kind of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could have chopped it by now. I guess I could cut it here and then it'll go down. We can go over it, eh? Mm. I'll try to cut it. I don't it know. It's pretty rooted over there. I don't know. It's pretty green. So. Yeah, of course, it bends up there. Right after he chopped from the boat. That's what I'm trying. Same for you. Let's see if when he takes his foot off how much it comes up. Like, oh, you can power through the middle anyway, Jim. Kind of do on a trip like this in your gear so eh? another little guy.
Left. Two pills? seasoning inside it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. That's, I don't, it's not on the plate long enough for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah.
yeah it's yeah it's good El, and, and if we get there too early and we don't think so then allen rapids is a 2140 with the campsite at the end so we would have to run it or uh portage it today but you could be fishing those rapids all day too or I'm okay with that too. Yeah, let's see how we feel at Stewart's Den. It's a long carry though. It would be nice to get it behind us. Even if we just carried our packs and left the canoes even, or if we didn't feel like it, right? It's only two hours to our campsite, so we might fish. Want to push all our knives? Might want to do that, yeah. Fish it a little well, bit harder. You know what, if we still take a break for lunch, yeah. You know, maybe at the end of the next carry, then that's... I don't think we've bitten off too much on this trip. No, oh, that's e easy we days. Don't have to, we don't have to push on, really. I remember now, like, uh, how much time I fished these kind of sections, which is why it took me all day to get to each section. So we might want to see if we can catch a couple more fish in high view and then have a lunch at the bottom of it. This is a fairly typical spring canoe trip weather. Can't complain. It was sunny today and I don't know how warm it got. Never really warm enough to take all my layers off. I still have a vest and shirt on, but most of the day it was cooler than that. And now this is very cold rain. So I'll get to camp in about an hour and a half and first thing we'll do is set up probably a couple of tarps and get a fire going. Get some gear dried out. Dinner cooked and then uh, set up the tents for the night. It's probably six o'clock now, so it's gonna be late to late start to uh, camp set up and for dinner. Anyway, keep going. Smells like warmth.
Doesn't take much. Jim, hug that tree. It's huge. Just walking down this portage trail here on Allen Rapids and came up on a moose. section of the river this is a section I don't know how many people run this because the top part's a little bit tricky but this uh, bottom part where we put in is just beautiful big canyon big uh, mature pines and spruces on both sides huge huge pine tree. just a beautiful spot full of trout as well Pulling I don't think he's woken up. 
You're pulling over a much higher spot of the log. Yeah, but it's less slippery, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only four feet deep. You'll know stand up at least. And he's done it! Still plenty of time to fall in. <laughs> Be graceful. Thanks for having the faith, Ted. <laughs> I want to show you this amazing place here. Um, I haven't had the camera on much today. First of all, because I've been doing a lot of traveling, but also because my camera got wet. So I only have this GoPro and a camera that Jim was nice enough to lend me. The reason I want to show you this area here is that just spectacular. The river is, we're, we're two days, two and a half days from the nearest entry point where you can actually access Algonquin Park and uh, canoe and portage back into this river. So you can't get here any other way. And it's so it has the results very remote. So we already saw a bull moose today that we got quite close to. There's wolf um, sign everywhere along these portage trails. The fishing is incredible in this area. We're catching fish almost on demand. Brook trout, beautiful, beautiful fish. That tastes good. We've already got enough um, put aside for, for dinner tonight. And this spot in particular though, just incredible. You got these huge, old growth white pines all along the river nice waterfall and rapids down through here white water and that drops into a great big pool that's full of brook trout campsite is halfway down right in the middle of it unfortunately we're going on uh, because um, we just need to make more distance today in order to complete our route on time but uh, just spectacular it's a, definitely a bucket list spot to stay in the future but I'm going to show you, you're going to walk along the trail and I'll show you what it's all about and why I'm so impressed with it. Ted's got a camera, so... Okay. I'm coming. Oh boy.
favorite. I'm coming. because I never cut the gills I didn't want to oh, yeah.
Yeah, you could put you could put it a battery in the bottom and a battery on the back. Sure, I said I got it. Like that was much bigger than the bottom one. That was kind of nice. But you needed the waterproof case, which just made all your shots garbage. It was just like a little bit foggy oh, yeah. in the case. So Sean, there's one rock in the middle. You could you could hit it left of that rock, and then there's another rock at the end. So yeah, you could run this whole thing left. You could run this whole thing left. Right, just just be careful to, uh, because if you get too far left, you're gonna get caught up in the alders. You know. I hope to get a couple of casts in there too. Much. Yeah. You're back there, Jim.
Bridge down over there. I'm going to eddy out here and try to get a couple of casts in on him. <laughs> no, except for the one rock. I think he ran it standing. Really? I just stood up to look to see him. I'm like, oh, my mom, I guess. <laughs> I gotta get a couple of casts in here. It's a woodcock. That's bargaining for no uh, snowshoes yeah Bucks loving the cooler weather. <laughs> So I'm in a green headwater lake right now, just trolling around the shoreline and then a little bit down the center trying to find the trout. I'm not sure where they are, but this is a um, lake I've never caught fish in. It's only my second time here, mind you, and I haven't fished it very intensively, but it's wouldn't I wouldn't imagine it's a very productive lake, but it's good uh, habitat for trout because it's really cold. It's a green headwater lake, which means it's um, spring fed, doesn't have anything feeding into it, any feeder streams feeding into it. This is the source. So it's very high ground here. Yeah, the spring fills this lake with rich, well, mineral rich, very cold water. And then it flows out of here and starts into the river systems. So there's a few lakes like this in this area in the Algonquin Highlands. Very beautiful uh, green water, very clear, cold. You've got these steep banks all around it with uh, mostly uh, white pine and red pine. 
it's just a beautiful lake with some beautiful campsites too if i was spending a couple of weeks in the park i would definitely stay in this area and stay on this lake and probably the next one as well for a night or two just to uh, experience the, the lake in the morning and the evening sunset and sunrise if you're the wildlife a couple of uh, loons just swam by lots of moose in the area so yeah it's one of my favorite spots in the park despite the fact that i can't catch any fish here <laughs> Next lake is pretty good too for fishing, and then the one following that's really good. So, I'm sure, we'll catch something today. If you live in North America, you've probably heard the sound of the loon, and I think there's loons in other places as well. That was a, a common loon. There's all kinds of them here in Ontario. That was a breeding pair. And uh, I'm fishing, trolling a lure, which goes about the depth that they would have no problem diving to to feed on. But I've never had an issue. I've never heard anybody catching a loon. So they seem to be pretty good at identifying lures compared to a live fish. Um, but I have caught a great blue heron of all things in the past. So, uh, fishing in, in um, lake in central ontario and i was fishing for bass with a, a topwater lure just twitching it on the surface and i've never seen this before a heron came out of flying by landed on the water and grabbed the lure so i hooked it in the uh, in the beak not too badly and then it got its wings caught in the line as well so i actually was able to pull it in closer to me my friend netted it and we were able to take the hook out without doing any damage to the to the heron but that's the first time I've ever seen that and I've never heard of that happening since. But um, it's unusual. But the loons, yeah, I've never heard of anybody hooking them. So that's a good thing. It's our lucky day. It's about 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's um, beautiful out here. Almost perfectly flat on the lake in the middle of the afternoon, which is a rare thing, especially on this lake. I've only been on it five times and two of the times it got completely windbound, like treacherous um, waves, wind. And then twice it's been like this and then once it's average. So I've been very lucky. So I'm hoping when the guys get back from the, uh, they're still on the portage. I single carried and they double carried this time. And uh, I'm a little bit ahead of them. So I'm just gonna troll around here while I wait for them. So hopefully one of us catches a nice lake trout today so that we can have a bigger meal of filleted trout for dinner. But, so nice out here. No bugs yet either. Not even, I haven't seen a single mosquito or black fly. Ideal conditions. Probably the fishing would be better if we were here a few days later. Once the water warms up just a little bit more, which is when the bugs hatch. But um, it's kind of a trade off. So no bugs, not quite as good fishing. But I think uh, I would say by the looks of this weather, Make get some uh, warmer weather, maybe a bug hatch in the next couple of days, but that's fine. It won't be too bad, and the fishing will be that much better. So let's see if I can catch something here for dinner. Good, how you doing? Are you by 
yourself or? No, they're, they're just a little bit behind there. Oh, there's my answer to the fishing. Yeah, I got those this morning. That's nice. Wow, very nice. Yeah. Huh? But it hasn't been great though, to be honest with you. No, we're finding the same. Beautiful spot. The pines there are just huge. Yeah. So we're on a little point out in the, in the river in the middle of a rapid. And uh, yeah, the moon comes up through the pines. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got a moose out there. Oh, did you? It's getting around. Oh, no kidding, eh? <laughs> Oh, just a really? shed? <laughs> That's so funny. We were just That's talking awesome. about yeah. the shed. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be neat. Well, actually, we were paddling down the river, and two young guys came past us in the early 20s, and they had yeah. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever. They didn't know what I was like, so I, just, I was with the one guy. And he's like, I like, see it just happening on the shore because we were looking at a clearing, eh? just before the sun comes up. <laughs> sure, yeah, 50 yards from there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No video like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now. <laughs> and I calmed down. It's not on video, it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Killarney is pretty well guaranteed for bears. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been there and not seen one. Yeah, I've come in uh, last week of May and first week of June. The map cyclops. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Big brookie. It's worth making this little trip over here to the waterfall. Man, look at the size of that. That's cool. That's a beautiful fish. <laughs> wow! Look at that! Holy crow! It's huge! It's probably no bigger than yours actually, maybe a little fatter, but I don't know if he's any longer. That is a gorgeous catch. Last minute decision to go out, and that's what we ended up with. Nice brook trip. Enough for dinner.
Help yourself to some of this too. Ted, you want some of this?